Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rodney. Don't mind the beard. I'm shaving before I see my friend on Friday. But I got eggs. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so excited. So I've been eyeing this doll for a couple of weeks now. And I haven't looked at her in detail up close yet. But I... Wait, did I clean the camera on this? Yeah, I didn't think that they would be here this fast. So I'm stoked and I'm beyond excited. There are actually a few things in this box. And one of them is... Well, I guess you'll see when I open it. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a new experience for me. Let's let's see what we have. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> First of all, I had to get a new remote because this one is absolute dog crap. It is bollocks. Okay, nice, Kia. Hopefully it works better than this one. The problem that I have with this one is that I have to press really hard on the buttons in order for the input to respond. And it's just frustrating. You know, it, it wasn't like that originally at first when I got the TV, but now it's just turned into a whole thing. And it says it's universal, so hopefully it works. This is for my friend. Oh, this is not enough. Well, I, no, well I'll make it enough for my friend. Wow, it just goes all the way over there. <laughs> but guys, we got the main attraction. Look at her. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, this is so surreal. I mean, I knew that this day would come eventually. I just, I never knew when, and it's today. So this is the LOL OMG. I believe her name is Ace. And it's really cool because she's actually a lot more tanned than I thought she was. To be honest with you, I do like her face on the picture a little bit more, actually a lot more than the actual doll, but I think that it translated pretty nicely regardless. Um, I'm really excited to see what she has in the box and everything. Ooh, I gotta get her. I gotta get her. Okay, so I've turned the light on here and I hope it's not too distracting. Okay, so she clearly has a video game aesthetic going on and it says game over. It's really cool, it's like a little, controllers on the side right here and it's actually funny because i posted a story earlier today about um the little monitor that i got for my playstation and yeah i love it it says play in style okay omg we sisters strut unique style and stand out from the crowd because so we're here to surprise the world cute okay this is definitely an mga box oh i like that very nice gorgeous and i like how these controllers are pink it's like it's a really pretty box like just like the look of it i mean it's just nice to look at i'm kind of not wanting to take her out okay i've posted her on instagram so let's get her open and see what she's all about i already saw a detail that i'm really stoked about so i'm excited to share it with you <laughs> looks like we already have some goodies here the fudge Okay, so it's a brush and a stand. Okay, cool. I didn't know that the OMG dolls had stands, or that they came with stands, rather. Okay, so call this really airheaded of me, but she doesn't have her shoes on because they, there's still the surprise element with this doll. And I guess I, did, I didn't fully realize that. <laughs> but it's cool, so I guess we can do that together. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but having fun is the biggest prize. That's literally what I texted someone earlier. Well, I didn't literally say that, but I said, you know, just have fun. And it couldn't be further from the truth. Oh, it's like a little magazine. Guys, every time I stop recording and put it in the time-lapse mode, I discover something new. Like, look how cool this is. Like, it was like this at first, and you open it up, and you pull out the little crate. Like, it's just so fun. Like, I like that. I need this. No reason for it specifically. I don't know what's in there. Ooh, whoa. I think her shoes are in here. So cute. I think that this is just like a prop, which I am definitely gonna keep. Oh my gosh. What? A window? It's like a whole set. So it's like her room. There's a background. Oh, Y'all, I'm sorry. I just like stuff like this. I like when things set the atmosphere and make the world just a little more believable just because of the fact that it's fun. No, I think there's something in there. I gotta get it open. Okay, so she definitely smells like an MGA product. You know, MGA dolls have a, a distinct smell about them and she's no exception to that. God! She has a gaming chair, guys. Well, not really, but you know. So it's like a little roller blade. I'm gonna have to cut all of this other stuff out. All right, here's her room. So look, here's her microphone. And then here's mine, but it's black. It's like opposites. Like, see how this one is pink with a, a black filter on the top? 
This one is black with a pink filter on the top. Before we have an in-depth look at her, I'm gonna open the rest of her accessories. So we're gonna start with this thing that was on the top. Okay. Some ski goggles or something. I don't recall seeing her wearing these in any of the pictures. Huh? Whoa. Oh my gosh, that's totally my fault. I should have known better. Good thing though, they are pink, so they're not gonna be lost. Okay, that's it. It's a hair clip and it says game over. Don't mind my nail. I need to go to the salon or something. I don't know. Get these cuticles cut. But I don't know what this is. I think it, it, it could go on her like legs or something. Oh, it's like a broken heart with the cat ears. Okay. I don't know where that goes. I'll have to reference the photo for that. And this one is the same. Oh, <gasps> whoa. What? This is incredible. I love it. I really do. Details on the back. LOL. OMG. Look. It's like emulating a, a Game Boy or something like that. It's really cool. And it's high quality. Look at, look at the, the print job. Like, there's no mistake. Well, there's that right there. You can scratch that off. There's like no mistakes with the printing of this. Like, you have, like, some other doll companies have worse screening on their dolls than this bag has on it. Even if you are not an OMG like doll collector, this would go great with a lot of other dolls. Okay, and our last surprise, because there definitely has been quite a few. Okay. I guess this has to be her shoes, right? <gasps> Are you kidding me? I love it. No wonder why there was a freaking rollerblade right there. I was like, what? Speaking of, I, I want to actually go rollerblading or like ice skating. I've been craving going for a long time, but look at these. They do it every time. I'm telling you, there is one downfall. I mean, it's kind of out of character for them, but these don't roll. That kind of sucks. They could have at least made like the first one roll, but it's fine though. It, wow, wow, wow. In love with that. Again, the painted details should not go unspoken about. Other companies don't do things like that. Okay, so that's everything. Wow, that is an incredible experience for the first time. Yeah, I definitely got to get Perla. Oh goodness, I've, I've been missing out. Why can't they make rainbow high stands like this? Oh, there's another one on the, on the bottom, another clip. I actually like the size of her. She's not too big and she's not too small. Her head is kind of big and large, but whatever. Let's, let's look at this doll. Oh my goodness, this is a def this is definitely a looker. She's a looker and I like that she has black hair infused her hair is actually really short and it's kind of unfortunate because you have to do this style well i guess it's not unfortunate because they're super stylized i like that they have like the hard gel to really like seal in the style and that's one of the things that i've always admired at a distance with lol dolls is that they have like these hairstyles that you know you don't really have to do too much to she does have a little bit of glue in her hair Oh, wait, it's actually, oh, there's pink under the, oh, look, there's a lot of pink. Um, it's longer than it actually looks because it's, this is the length of it. Okay, not bad. Definitely way longer than I thought it was. Okay, cool. But yeah, I definitely see people like taking her out of the box and just being content with this. Like you don't have to wash the hair and that's a really nice thing. I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna re-gel all of these just to make it a little more neat. And also I want to extend the length as well. So let's look at this face, guys. Oh my God. Oh, so pretty and so cute. I mean, I've never been a fan of these, but something about this doll, she just, she speaks to me and I feel like she's gonna spark something within me. Again, I am solid on the fact that I'm gonna get Perla next, so. Wait, she doesn't have earrings? I guess she has these headphones, so she doesn't really need, yeah, she's, a, she, she's good. Look at the stars, ah, <gasps> the blush, look at the lips. They look just like the cartoon, it's so surreal. Love the eyebrows. They could have been a little better. I like the eyebrows a little more on the box. Okay, and then what is she wearing? A really high quality jacket piece. Oh, what does that say? It says extra <laughs> plus one up <laughs> with the broken heart thing right there. Very cute. I like the collar on here. The color combination of this doll, including her skin tone, it works beautifully in my opinion. I love it. So this is like a Velcro piece, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> oh, sorry. The name is so fitting. I'm genuinely surprised. And look, there's another surprise here. So this is like a whole, I'm going to take this jacket off in a second. Look at the tassels. Nice. Oh, the little pocket and the little metal plated thing. Is it real metal? Is it real metal? I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't. Let me get a close-up. Okay, so here's a really close-up look at the little details. Look at the checkerboard, like everything. Like there's detail on here, it says game. 
they didn't have to do that and there's also words and letters along the strip of this jacket what does it say l-o-o-m-g so cute okay and then here's her face close up with the makeup and then the skirt look at the shine it just looks so high quality i mean the doll is not that expensive again some monster high dolls that are like collector dolls are less detailed than she is and she's only twenty dollars and she has nice hair <laughs> uh monster high you gotta get it together look at this look at that the chrome what like look how nicely that's painted in the sculpt of the hand mold with the dimples and the wrinkles in the fingers like are you kidding me this is to me this is what dolls should be in 2024 this is exactly what I anticipated when I was younger. And this is exactly what I want. Just high quality dolls that are cheap. I mean, and her socks. Oh, beautiful. It's almost like there's glitter in there. I think there is glitter. Whoa, guys, y'all, this is a, a hit. She's a total hit. If you know of any other LOL OMG dolls that you think I'd be interested in, go ahead and write it in the comments because this started something new for sure. Oh, by the way, Functional pockets. <laughs> Guys, look at this. She does have earrings. So I definitely lost the other one. Um, what are they though? Oh, it's like a it's like a game pad, like a, a, a D-pad on a controller. This thing is this. How cool is that? I don't know where the other one is. It's in the rug somewhere. I fell on the floor. Hopefully I'll find it. If not it's fine i'll just cover her ears with the headphones i guess this was a really nice experience like honestly and i can only imagine the kind of details that perla has on her because she has like a lot of the dolls had they they give like a an, a maximalism vibe and you guys know like i love maximalism so the fact that they have a doll that's kind of catered to people who enjoy the that kind of aesthetic i don't know it's just really cool but let me see if i can find her other earring i found it and it's the same one as the other one cool by the way it works beautifully i love it it's way better than the other one so the good thing is these dolls have the same hair type as the rainbow high dolls and so it's gonna be pretty much the same process for whenever i wash and restyle those dolls but this was actually an interesting case because she has all of these part lines and all of this like intricate thatching that i definitely did not want to ruin <laughs> so i'm being mindful of that it would be kind of interesting to see mm -hmm. someone restyle her like completely in their own way but i feel like the thing with lol dolls that i've observed over time is that you don't have a lot of creative freedom so you kind of have to stick with what you get out of the box which like i said earlier is not really a big deal especially because the, you know the styles are super thematic and they're just like kind of like ready for you immediately out of the box but yeah i'm using the mrs Meyer is a hand soap i don't know what this scent is and i actually don't know what the old one that i used to buy uh, was called but the funny story about the mrs myers hand soap like the uh, the original reason why i got into like buying them was because i used to work at this place called cocoon it was a wellness spa according to google and my job was to like go around and clean up after the clients because it was like kind of like a, a therapy a, th a therapy kind of place for like sick people and i would have to go in after them and clean the bathtubs i know it sounds gross but i mean it really wasn't as bad it, it really wasn't i was only there for a month but it wasn't as bad but yeah she the owner used to always use mrs myers products and the scent in the bathroom every time i washed my hands i was like what is this product i've never i had never seen it prior to that so yeah um that's the origin of that story and every time i like use it it kind of brings me back to that that one month that i worked there um i do miss it and i kind of do feel bad because she was super nice but the reason that i left was because one day i came in and the other employees were just being really hostile towards me well not really hostile i think that's a little aggressive of a word to use but they were really like standoffish and it was it was a polar opposite of what it was the week prior i came in on monday and nobody was like talking to me it was weird it was weird like you would think that i had done something over the weekend but yeah i don't know a story of my life but yeah i feel like i have so many stories of people just like switching up on me out of nowhere 
listen, it's something that I've been dealing with for my entire life, and I expect to keep dealing with it. So that's why I kind of like have gotten acclimated with just being alone and enjoying my time alone with my dolls and just doing me, you know. And it's funny because I'm the most popular I've ever been, like technically, but I'm like the loneliest. But it's okay. I'm certain God will bring in the right people at the right time when you know <laughs> in due time <laughs> in my life. But yeah, so yeah, I'm just like making sure that her ponytails are like neat as neat as possible but it's actually weird and i was getting a little frustrated because if you look at her right ponytail it's a lot thicker than her left one and that's because of the fact that she has a side part so it, it's naturally uneven and i tried to even it out as much as i could but there's only so much that you can do <laughs> with a lack of hair but it's okay i think she still turned out cute and again i never really go for perfection and that's the thing about me i never wanted to be perfect i never want any of my dolls to be perfect a lot of them are already perfect as it is anyway despite what i may or may not do to them yeah i'm, I'm okay with a little bit of asymmetry you know i don't do a lot of that anyway but yeah are you guys gonna get this doll let me know in the comments let me know if you're gonna get her or perla or both they kind of came unexpectedly and i think i would have gotten lol omg dolls in the past but i've just been so busy with other dolls the last doll that i got before her i believe was berry skies which by the way her tiktok is really doing well in numbers like surprisingly so i don't even know what it was about that video that a lot of people liked but it's like the one video not the one video but it's one of the I can't even say that, but I noticed that majority of the comments are positive in the, in that video. And you guys know, like, I love reading comments, so that's, like, it's, like, a reward for me. <laughs> I've been, like, thinking about, like, low-key wanting to start, like, a vlog channel. I don't even know why, because I've never been the kind of person to want to do vlogs, especially daily. But lately, I've just been feeling, first of all, like I said, I'm really kind of lonely. But I think even more than that, I have so much to say. Like, I talk to myself a lot and I'm saying these things to myself. And I'm like, that would have been funny in a video. That would have been great on camera, whatever. But this week, I got my tooth pulled out. <laughs> I feel like I constantly have, like, things going on. And I'm unemployed, so I'm always at home and I'm always just, like, thinking about, like, everything. But yeah i got my tooth extracted and it still hurts and i think i'm a little swollen still we'll see how it goes um but the experience was actually very pleasant it was actually the most pleasant experience that i've ever had at a dentist ever so i gotta give it to them for that it was expensive and pricey but you know what isn't these days i decided to give her some i don't know if i got cut off at the beginning right there but i decided to give her some like little things at the top you know those little curly pieces i don't know why they keep reminding me of like the moon the, i keep getting the moon and i'm actually scared because there's like a full moon tonight or like tomorrow or whatever i don't know why those days scare me because it's like anything can happen you know and i'm going outside tomorrow like there are, I, I have plants tomorrow so I'm, I'm terrified but i made this gift basket for my friend because she made me a gift basket last year on my birthday and she just turned 25 so i'm gonna go ahead and give that to her i made a tiktok about it so make sure you stay tuned for that i sent a preview of the video to my uh, friend my other friend and she really liked the gift that i put together so i'm really proud of it it's a hello kitty inspired like sanrio gift and it's cool and i just feel super accomplished because it was sitting in my room for like all year because i was collecting things all year long so that way i could like build her gift up and finally give it to her and i i might record her reaction or whatever we'll see rachel if you're watching this happy birthday bill i don't know about y'all but there's something about this hairstyle that i just really like i'm really drawn to it i'm excited to share it with the world i'm excited to upload the tiktok i actually like by accident discovered how to do like a 3d braid um, I think this is a 3D braid, right? But yeah, regardless, definitely expect to see more of this style of braids going forward. It's really cool to me. Um, but yeah, we're at the end. I'm just smoothing her hair out. I was actually going to go through it with the flat iron and really make it, like, I don't know, as perfect as possible. But like I said, I, I wasn't really going for that. And I feel like I didn't want it. You know, well, I was never going to go with bone straight. I was never going to do that for her. But I think I was going to, like, make the ends more curly with the flat iron. But I was content with this. So here we have her. Here she is. And I'm still in love with her. I love her with the, with the cat ears and everything. There's a lot to look at when you look at this doll. And I love the knee pads and stuff. It's so cool. Um, I may have unlocked something new within myself. I'm not totally sure, but I definitely want to get Perla next. Again, let me know if you guys got her and yeah let me know how you feel about this like slight freestyle and let me know how you feel about this doll in general this was a fun video i'm super excited for the future and i hope that you guys are as well and i hope that everything is going well for you guys too 
but for now i think i'm going to be checking off and um yes wish me luck for this this gift exchange tomorrow <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much i love you and i will see you in i don't know whose video is going to be next but yeah i'll see you then love you bye